Good morning, guys. This is day 40. Uh, this is, what is this, March what? 28th. 28th. March 28th. Got Nutter Butter sitting here beside us. Sad day. Nutter Butter's leaving the trail today. He's going going home, but they, that was a planned thing. It's not he, It's not that he's giving up. That was planned. So everything going. But this this is our van, right? We're all sitting here on bean bags. <laughs> Got a couch sitting over there. Sitting here on bean bags. We're, we're heading to town for some breakfast right now. So anyway, just want to give you guys a view of what it's like out on the trail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you guys in a little while once we get on trail. Good morning again, folks. We are back on trail. When you got us a hot breakfast, it's about 11 o'clock. We're just getting started. But it's a short day. We're only doing 10 miles today. So, figured we'd take it a little easy this morning after that long day yesterday. Turn this thing around and get you a little bit of trail. Gonna be another pretty day. Won't be quite as pretty as yesterday. You call it for highs around 54. But it's still gotta be sunny. We'll see you up the trail. Do want to give a special shout out to Mark and to Cole. Thanks for the trail magic, guys. I do appreciate it. Bluegrass and I are gonna, gonna enjoy it. Got some beautiful views this morning, guys. Nothing really wide open, but Pretty nonetheless. Nice rocky ledge right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if the camera can pick it that pick that up. Either way, it's beautiful. We are slack packing again today. Yesterday's 24 was slack packing. Don't know if I was quite ready to try to do 24 with a full pack. But when you're slacking, you can walk a few more miles. Hey guys, look who I just ran into. Hey. Yeah, there's soap, there's sassafras, and guys, you down there getting water. <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful day for a hike, though, guys. Absolutely. Nice little water source. Mm -hmm. We're doing well. So, guys, we'll see y'all up the trail. Yeah. All righty. Bye now. It's kind of funny out here on the trail. Even though you're not hiking with the same people, other than me and Bluegrass, you keep running in. Oh, excuse me. Gotta watch the roots. But you keep running into the same people over and over again. Because what you find, the farther you go, you may take a zero, they get ahead of you. Then they take a zero, you catch up. Or they'll take a zero and you get ahead of them. But either way, you keep running into the same people. So we call it our little bubble. And uh, you get to know all these people. They become friends. You get, it's a good brotherhood out here and sisterhood. So seeing those, those guys again, I hadn't seen them in three or four days. It was good to see them. I got to say yesterday, I told you we did 24 miles yesterday. I was right proud of myself. Sorry, I'm going across a lot of roots right now, so I'm watching my feet very carefully. But anyway, we did those 24 miles in 10 hours. 
which I thought was pretty good. We were slack packing, so got to take off a few points for that, but it's still 24 miles. And to do that in 10 hours, I was pretty pleased. What is going on down? Okay, better put this thing away. Love it when the shelters are right on the trail. There's the trail, there's the shelter. This is the Curly Maple Gap shelter. Looks like this one's fairly new as well. Got a fresh coat of paint on it anyway. But we're not gonna stay here. I might take a few minutes to sit on this bench because like Chuck McKinney used to say, what do you do when you see your bench? You sit down for a while. So that's what I'm gonna do. Looks like somebody left a chair up here. We'll leave it there. Somebody will enjoy it. Looks like the water source right over there. Nice campsite. Okay, time to go up trip. You know, I showed you guys the picture inside the van this morning of all the folks being shuttled to town. They were all through hikers. And we're all ahead of the bubble. They tell us when the bubble really hits that it's 10 times worse than that. So, Bubble's catching up with us. We take some zeros. There's a, we've been passed by a few of them that started in March. But they're the ones, the, the really fast ones, the run ones that start out doing 25 mile days and really moving. Very experienced hikers are very athletic that have been doing this for years. So we've been passed by a few of those, but the main bubble it's still a week or two behind us. The norovirus is still a week or two behind us unless some of those fast guys bring it through with them. Um, we've not seen any of it on the trail so far. It'll eventually catch us, I'm sure. Hope not, but I'm sure it probably will. Um, but our little group, Still, there can be times when it looks like it's very crowded. I know you've seen that in some of our shelter shots where it looked like we were packed in there like sardines. But that was pretty much everybody who was there because it was raining or it was really bad weather, so everybody just piled into the shelters. Once the bubble hits, they said those shelters are packed like that. Plus there'll be 15 or 20 tents outside of them. We've not seen that yet. So hopefully we don't and besides by the time you get to hot springs more than 50 percent of the people have already quit 50 percent of the people who try this have already quit by hot springs which is a true statistic i know they quit by some hot springs and then several more quit in hot springs i don't know what the statistic is of how many make it past hot springs probably need to look that up 
but either way just want to tell you a little bit about the bubble the rocky trail this morning Third bridge today. Don't know why they built a bridge here. We could have just rock hopped across that, but we'll take it. I think it's the same creek that we've been following most of the day. We just keep zigzagging across it. Either way, it's pretty. Sometimes you just get hiking and you get tunnel vision and for something just tells you to look over to the side and I turned around and looked. Look how beautiful this area is out in here, folks. Isn't that gorgeous? I almost walked right past it. talk to you a little bit about the strategy for today and about why we're slack packing today now yesterday we did our 24 miles because we had reservations at uncle johnny's and we'd lost today so we did 24 miles to make up that day and what happened got there about 6 30 we'd missed the shuttle to take us into town so we couldn't resupply and I am completely out of food. So we had an option of waiting till the shuttle left this morning, going in town, getting some food, resupplying, coming back to Uncle Johnny's and then heading out about noon, which is what a lot of people did. Or, and then getting most of those people that headed out around noon, are gonna get about five miles today because it's a pretty steep climb. Or we could do what we chose to do. We could slack pack where a shuttle driver took us 10 miles up the trail and we slack pack back to Uncle Johnny's which is where I'm just about there now. Got a little bit farther to go. Make it by four o'clock, catch the shuttle into town, resupply and then we'll head out again tomorrow morning. But that's a strategy. Right, wrong, or indifferent, that's what we chose to do.
Okay. Gonna have to put this thing away. Uh, Got across railroad tracks. And just like that, there's Uncle Johnny's right down there with the red roof. So we're coming in. Done our 10 miles for the day. We talk about our strategy. I still think it was a great strategy because we have 10 miles done rather than five. I think I'll take you inside and show you the bunk room once I get in there. For those of you who watch Captain Jack and Bob Ross. You'll see that bunk room. You recognize that stove that's in there. I think they spent about a week and a half in Uncle Johnny's. No, the wind's getting loud, so I'll talk a little bit louder. Said they spent about a week and a half there. there's a lot of opportunities to slack back here and i think they took a lot of took advantage of it especially i think captain jack was having a had a bum knee and he was he was trying to get that nurse to help plus it was cold and snowy anyway let me turn this thing over here let you see the river off the bridge and if there's a power line or a te telephone line you get the fishing line stuck up in the power line anyway we'll be up to try to get second. okay folks here's the bunk room and uncle johnny's there's that stove where you kept seeing captain jack and bob ross all the time sitting by that feeding that stove so but this is it even got a guitar up there if anybody wanted to play it. All kinds of shoes and boots and I don't know what this is. I guess this is a hiker box, so whatever you want, you just go in and if there's anything available, you get it. Mm -hmm. 